Hey, what's going on guys? It's JC from Motion VFX here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the brand new pack, M Transition Whip Cut for DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive into it. So once you've installed M Transition Whip Cut from the installer, the first thing you want to do is go to the effects tab and search for the pack name. Here is where you're going to find all 50 transitions. Now, the first thing you notice is that a few of these have this white star on the right of them. Now, that's because I've selected a few of these transitions as my favorites. So that means even if I don't type the pack name in and I go to my favorites at the bottom, those transitions are going to be there. Just so it's a little bit quicker in my workflow, I don't have to search for the exact transition. I can just go straight to my favorites and put it from there. But going back to the pack, if you'd like to make a favorite yourself, all you need to do is come to the right of pack and just select the star. That's it. Now, I'm of course not going to go over all 50 of these transitions, otherwise we'd be here all day. But what I would do recommend is putting your playhead in between two clips and then just hovering over the transition to see what it does. Just going from left to right, you can get a feel for what that transition will do, just so you can start to see which one fits the style you're going for. And because this is a whip cut transition pack, most of these transitions look best at one second length. And by default, it should be set to that. If you click onto the transition here and then head into the inspector tab, you should see the duration is at one second. If you did want it longer, you can just drag this box here or just head into the inspector tab and just choose the direction yourself. So maybe if you want two seconds, enter that in there and that's done. And whilst we're inside the inspector tab, this is also where we can customize the transition. For me, this film stain is one of my favorites in the pack, but I do modify it because the stain in the middle is just a bit too big. So what I like to do is go inside the Q mark controls. I'll shrink this down quite a bit and then I'll just place it over to the side. I will just drop this duration back to one second as well. And then from here to make it flow even more, I would change the color of this outer circle to match the clip that is transitioning into. So from here, we do have this nice sunset. So it actually changed from red to a nice orange. And that for me just makes all the difference. And it really is that simple. Just dragging the transition onto the clip and you're done. That's literally all you need to do. In my opinion, most of these transitions don't even need adjusting. You can just drag them on and that's all you need to do. They look really good straight out of the box. And that is the case for 98% of this pack. But there is one transition that does need a little bit more work. And that is the whip cut custom mask. So how this transition works is by taking a mask from a second clip, bringing that in first before revealing the entire clip, or the other way around, taking a mask from a clip that's currently playing, keeping that selection on the screen as the second clip comes in before completely transitioning out. So by default, we do have this person shape thing. And if I play this through, we can see as that second clip comes in of this background we have here, that selection from the first clip is still there. And just like before, we can customize how this looks. We can get rid of the flash. We can add the saturation back in. The control is all there. But the main difficulties with this pack is controlling the actual mask. The first way is how it is set by default, and that is this polygon shape. And that is just you going into this menu here, hitting the fusion overlay, and just moving these points about. Now, this is the method to use when you either have a very simple subject or you don't have the studio version of Resolve, because the second method does require a magic mask. So now that we've selected out our subject, I've got the person in the sea as well as the sea. So I've just basically removed the sky. I'm making sure that I do have this hold frame option checked because that means as this goes through, the mask that we've selected is going to freeze. So that means regardless of any movement inside the video, we've selected for this frame to completely freeze. Now, if I take this off, you're going to see that the mask isn't quite right because the subject is moving in and out. So here it kind of works. I've missed his shoulder. If we just adjust that. So I've made that adjustment now and I'll take off the blur so you can really see the effect. But as we move through the frames, he is now coming out of that mask. That's because this mask isn't tracking him. It's only tracking that one section. So if you aren't tracking, I do recommend keeping that hold frame option on. Now, although it was a lot of clicks, this still is a fairly easy subject to mask out. If we were to go to something a little bit more difficult, like this guy skating with a surfboard in his hand, it would take a long time to manually mask this out. So instead, we're going to go to the more complicated way and use the magic mask. And as well as using the magic mask, we're actually going to flip the order that the custom mask is working. Before we had footage A holding on until we got to footage B. Now we're gonna to go to the inspect tab and switch that to footage B. So now the subject of the second video will come in just before the full clip does. And just for now, so I can see everything clearly, I'm going to uncheck all of these options just so the mask is a little bit easier. From here, I will then press this button, which will launch me into the fusion tab. So we'll need to track our subject that's in media two. So what I'm going to do is press shift spacebar and go to the magic mask. On the output of media one, I'll drag that to the input of magic mask and then press control one to open it up on the left. With the magic mask tag selected, I will then draw around the subject. 
Now, this doesn't need to be too exact. DaVinci Resolve has got very good at tracking a subject, so I won't spend too much time just drawing a rough shape around our subject. Cool, once I select it, I will then track that both backwards and forwards. And then once that mask is complete, we'll drag the output node of the magic mask to the pink triangle of the transition. Then heading back into the edit page, we'll just change this from polygon to custom. And there we have it. And that's how you get the effect of the subject coming in before the entire frame does. Now, I know I mentioned before about the transitions only needing to be one second long. But with this transition, I do like to extend it just so the effect hits that much more. So if I make this transition two seconds long instead, go back into the fusion page just so I can redo that mask. Once that's all tracked up, we're good to go. Now, I know that was a few extra steps, but I guarantee the results will always be worth it. And one last thing I do want to mention is that you aren't only limited to use these transitions in between clips. You could use them in a single video to create an in-clip effect. So we have this clip of the same guy skating around doing a few tricks. Now, I think it could be pretty cool to, as he lands, to put in a transition to kind of make emphasis on the trick he's just done. Now, it would need to be something quite seamless, not too distracting, so I'll use something like the burn transition. And just like that, adding in a speed ramp. Now, as soon as he hits the trick, the burn comes in, the footage goes a bit faster. It just adds a little bit more energy to your edit. I hope you found this overview helpful so you can better understand how to use M Transition Whip Cut. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please drop them down below or head to our website, motionvfx.com. I've been JC, and this has been your overview of the M Transition Whip Cut. See you in the next one.